Hello guys and welcome back to the 2023-24 STPN NHL season previews. 32 teams in 32 days and next up we have my favorite team in the Dallas Stars. But first let's shout out today's sponsor and the sponsor for all the season previews in sports interaction. Get in the action and make your bet with sports interaction. The race for the pennant is hitting a fever pitch as the Blue Jays are taking a run at the AL East. You can bet before those games live and in play. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN or download the app to get started 19 plus and please play responsibly. Now, after making to the Western Conference final and unfortunately failing versus the Vegas Gold Knights, this is a Stars team that's looking to take that next step, be a true playoff contender, not just get back to that conference final, but hopefully take that next step into the final two. But can the Dallas Stars actually make it happen? Well, that is where I guess the mixed bag kind of comes into play. When we look at the offseason additions, really it's highlighted by Matt Duchesne, who's bought out by the Preds comes in on a three million dollar deal an absolute steal in every single way but you can see this last year 56 points in 71 games after an 86 point season likely more around that 50 point range for the stars but still an excellent addition to have throughout the year you also got craig smith as some older depth bringing some maturity on a younger deal or on a smaller deal and six points in 22 games of the caps last year after 10 points of 42 games of the bruins i wouldn't exactly expect too much really then you go on to Sam Steele, who was the last forward addition for the Stars, bringing some interesting depth, maybe replacing Luke London on that fourth line, perhaps. This last year, 28 points in 65 games. This could actually be one of the more underrated additions for the Stars, in my opinion. He's a guy that's been slowly getting better and better this last year, a solid role for the Wild, and can produce on a bottom six. As for the offseason subtractions, it's really headlined by Max Domi, who, of course, they acquired from the Blackhawks at the trade deadline was a player that was likely going to be lost, but still sucks either way. This last year with the Stars was solid in the playoffs, especially was fantastic for them. Really looked like that playmaker the Stars were lacking and offensively came up in some big ways throughout the playoffs. Missing him is going to suck, but getting Matt Duchesne makes it a lot better for them. Also, Luke Glennon then goes away. Amazing defensive forward who knows his role exactly. I mean, you're not going to be seeing too many points, obviously. But defensively, that was his bread and butter. He's replaced by Sam Steele, which is a little more of a overall center presence. But Luke Glennon on that fourth line as the center knew exactly what he needed to be. And then you'll give Ranta, unfortunately is probably not going to be re-signed with the Stars, which makes me eternally sad. We will always have Game 7 against Colorado, and I know that it's very sad to say, especially since Colorado won afterwards, but just give us this, please. You can see with the additions and the subtractions, but specifically with the additions, there was no defenseman added. And to me, this is the biggest issue with this Stars offseason. They needed to add defense. I think they needed to change that defense up in some substantial way, whether that was getting rid of a Hawk and Pot or a Sewer, which is obviously easier said than done, bringing somebody new into the fold. To me, there needed to be somebody brought in, whether it was on a bottom pair, somebody more consistent. A Radko Gudis would have been perfect. He, of course, went to Anaheim. But the defense being pretty much the same as it was last year makes me really worried i can't even lie now we'll talk about it more in a second but let's go on to the players to watch here for the dallas stars this season and for my three let's start of course with matt duchene who is a player who will likely be around that 50 60 point range but is perfect having him in the middle of that lineup for the entire season is gonna be huge his playmaking presence and the way he's able to command the ice offensively he's gonna be a ton of fun to watch now for my second player to watch and a player that'll be a big part of this defense going forward and then is thomas harley who really came into a big role in the playoffs for the stars this last year and was excellent after only playing six regular season games he played 19 in the playoffs got nine points and looked incredibly smooth incredibly mature already and having him maybe on that middle pair will be huge if he's able to translate that playoff game onto the regular season the stars defense looks so much better but this is hopefully the first full season that he has over 40 games that'll hopefully put him in a great position on that top four and finally start to see that potential fully that we saw back in his draft year but then going on to the third player to watch for me, and this one is incredibly important, that is Jake Ottinger, who in the regular season had some great statistics and 919 save percentage, but in the playoffs, after that solid series versus Minnesota, just completely fell off the map. Got pulled multiple times afterwards and ended up with an 895 save percentage in 19 games. To me, Jake Ottinger, of course, was brilliant in that series versus Calgary in 2022, but to me, that type of performance needs to stick. If the Stars are going to take that next step, to me, Ottinger's improvement might be the most important thing. 
Now let's go ahead and rank the defense, the four group, and the goaltending. Let's start out with that four group though, which looks fantastic. And the top end, the bottom six, it all looks great. You can see there's potentially a spot for Logan Stankoven. We'll see if he's able to capture that. That would be fantastic. He would be a player to watch if that does happen. If it doesn't though, there's still some fantastic depth here. And this isn't even including players like Craig Smith and Sam Steele. But you look at that top six, you look at that bottom six, so many offensive weapons with players that can know their role defensively too. I give them a straight A. One of the better offensive cores in the NHL right now. Now, the defense is a little bit of a different story, even if it is still fine. You, of course, got players like Suter and Hawk and Pa, who didn't have the greatest years last season, but hopefully we'll see bigger steps out of course. Mira Haskin and again, Thomas Harley, hopefully having a bigger season. Nils Lundqvist maybe getting a spot on that bottom pairing to cook a little bit. We'll see what happens. The Stars defense, though, is most likely going to be the biggest weakness, though, still. I give them a B minus. It's not great, but it's not the worst either, but it will just get them by. We'll see if that defense is enough to get them to that next step. And then on the goaltending, of course, you got Jake Ottinger and Scott Wedgwood as his backup. Pretty solid tandem. And if Ottinger takes that next step, it's going to be brilliant. I give them an A- minus for now, though. To me, though, easily for the Stars team, the biggest question mark is, will they be able to adapt with their defense? And to me, this was a problem, especially in that Vegas series, a little bit of a problem in that Seattle series. To me, it was an inconsistent mess, that defense. And at best, it was fine and it got them by. But it was never really truly the strength besides Miro Haskin and really and a little bit of Thomas Harley, a little bit of Ryan Suter here and there. The defense was inconsistent. It was weird. It was just fluctuating all over. And to me, that's going to be the biggest question mark. Will this Stars team be able to buck that trend, be able to get out of that defensive hole? Because that to me is the biggest thing that might hold them back. As for right now, though, I still see them being a fantastic regular season team and actually getting that top spot in the Central Division. Sorry to Drew's abs right now, but I see the Stars just having the best odds in the Central for the regular season, especially. I give them 105 to 108 points, first in the Central Division, and being one of the better teams in the NHL. Knock on wood. But let's know in the comments down below, how do you see this Dallas Stars team doing? I hope they do well, we'll see. But do you see them making the playoffs again? How far do you see them making in the playoffs if they were to make it again as well? Let us know all your thoughts down below. Of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you enjoyed the breakdown, the analysis. 32 teams in 32 days. And next up, we'll see you for the Detroit Red Wings preview. Hope to see you there. Share the video with all the hockey fans you guys know online, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, y'all, and goodbye.